outbreak is hitting Minnesota's tourism industry hard. An Explore Minnesota survey found almost two-thirds of tourist-related businesses expect at least a 51% drop in business over the next month. And half that group expects to get no business at all. As Jeff Wagner found out, for some, that's by choice. The serene views on the banks of Lake Superior bring a sense of calm many people right now could use. But the message from those who typically welcome visitors along the North Shore is to stay away. And don't get me wrong, we love our tourists. I mean, you know, we can't survive without them. But, you know, I, I think the time now is to stay home, to stay in place. Kirsten Moore owns Gooseberry Park Cottages and Motel in Two Harbors. I feel like I have to protect my community and myself. Which is why she's not taking any reservations through April, past the governor's recommendation of just March. I know people are coming up here. They might not realize that they're ill and they're staying in our cabins and I'm the one that cleans up after them, so. You know, I'm taking a risk. All lodging in Cook County, which includes Grand Marais, are doing the same. And truthfully, it is a health care issue. Visit Cook and County Executive Director Linda Jurek said the local hospital has limited beds and only one ventilator. Although there's no confirmed case of COVID-19 in Cook County, she worries about the possibility. You know, we're a small community with a small hospital, so if we reached uh, the proportions of you know, Italy or New York here in, in Cook County, it would be uh, devastating. Turning people away is also devastating financially. Tourism dollars from cabins, restaurants, and shops make up 85% of the county's economy. As Visit Cook County, we stand at ready to be able to, you know, be able to welcome our guests back when the time is right. If there's any silver lining, Jurek said April is typically a slow month for tourism up north. The concern, though, is what will happen come May, June, and July when they bank on visitors. In Minneapolis, Jeff Wagner, WCCO4 News.